What's up, Melon Slosses? Melon X Games here, and today I am revisiting the Sands Battle in Little Big Planet 3. For some of the people that's been on my channel for longer than maybe two or three years, you can plainly see that I've already done a video on this, and the reason why I'm wanting to come back to Little Big Planet 3 to play the Sands Boss Battle is because I want to see how accurate it is compared to the real thing. Now I know I said back in my old video that I said it was pretty accurate, but I myself have not even experienced the true battle yet in the actual game. So I want to go back and see if it's accurate like I thought it was back when I played it originally. This is the same version, same game, it's by JoJoJovi underscore, it's got 18,522 hearts, so without further ado, I say let's get right into the video. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you should be burning in hell. Alrighty. So right off the bat, the blasters are not even as big as they are in the real game. And not only that, you don't even have button menus at the bottom either. Alright, so we're going to get into his first attack here. So far, it's pretty simple. Looks like I lost a bit of health at the beginning. Also, one thing I noticed too is the poison is not in the HP thing. It actually takes life as you, you know, get hurt and all that. So there's no such thing as, like, the poison. So that's one thing that makes it inaccurate but so far the simple attacks are the only thing that's pretty much accurate all right so i'm coming to this attack here not like the real thing not like that attack but okay so let's see how they do with this attack all right yeah the real one is way harder i can automatically tell that once you play the real thing this thing is like a piece of cake Okay, so automatically you don't get placed on the platform you have to jump up there yourself now i know in like the real game you can like jump up off the platform to skip the uh skip any damage that might happen to you all right so this is going by pretty slow so this makes it 10 times easier so you can literally just go back and forth on this one and the real one i would have to skip multiple bones just to keep up with it so right now i'm at 59 hp out of 92 so we're hopping on this platform again so it's these things so again it's going by pretty slow not fast at all so we're already at midway point. So uh, you really swing like swinging that thing around, huh? Listen, friendship, it's really great, right? Let's quit fighting. Just lay down your weapon and, well, my job will be a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and fight. Welp, it was worth a shot. Guess you like doing things the hard way, huh? Okay. So that's kind of crappy how it places you at the top like that. For the most part, that attack was accurate. Alright, so we're going to go through some more dialogue here. Alright, so we're going through another one of these attacks again. Lost a little bit of health there. And see, the thing about this is he misspells words, which... Or he or she misspells words, which I'm not all for that. Looks like they try to top it out all fast. One thing I am noticing, though, is those bones are not even at all if you ever uh, noticed that before all right going through some more dialogue and i noticed one thing too i'm not even touching the controller and the heart's moving up so that's something that they need to fix just for future reference all right see what's about to come next here okay so it's these bones so again in the real battle these come at you a lot faster so these are really easy to dodge all right well, they came out at an unnecessary angle. I got hit at first. And so that final attack came out pretty slow, and yeah, it's really easy. Not too bad at all. Huff puff. All right, that's it. It's time for my special attack. Are you ready? Here goes nothing. And of course, we already know that his final attack is nothing, or his special attack. That's right, it's literally nothing, winky face. And it's not going to be anything either. <laughs> you get it? Also, I noticed we're car in this one too. I know I can't beat you. One of your turns, you're just going to kill me. So, uh, I've decided it's not going to be your turn. Ever. I'm just going to keep having my f turn until you give up. Even if that means we have to stand here until the end of time. Capiche? 
Yeah, the person who typed out this dialogue obviously typed it out way too fast and they didn't spell check or anything, which makes the accuracy go down way low because Toby Fox, when he, of course, wrote the dialogue, he was, you know, I'm pretty sure he was spell checking everything because just about all words were spelled correct. And if he did spell them incorrectly, he meant to do it on purpose, like when the Timmy's talked um, and all that stuff. Absolutely no benefit persevere persevering whatsoever if I can make that clear no matter what you'll just keep losing not out of any desire for good or evil but just because you think you can and because you can you have to but now you've reached the end there's nothing left for you now so uh, my personal opinion the most determined thing you can do here is uh, completely give up and <sighs> Do literally nothing else. Alrighty, he's starting to get a little tired. Come on, buddy, fall asleep. Fall asleep now. Huh, did you really think you'd be able... So... Guess that's it, huh? Just... Don't say I didn't warn you. Well... I'm going to Grillby's. Papyrus, do you want anything? That was really an interesting simulation of the battle. Um, looking back on it now, I was wrong. It is not accurate whatsoever. It's kind of close to the battle, but it's at the same time not really close. The developer definitely could have done a lot more things better with it. Um, I noticed that the heart again was going up on its own. They needed to fix that. Fix the dialogue. Maybe find some things to make the battle more interesting. Maybe add buttons or something. If that's a possibility. But other than that, um, if I had to rate this on a scale from 1 to 10, I would rate it a 6 out of 10. Because, you know, some of his attacks were accurate, but the battle in general was not accurate. The battle was way shorter. Um, there was... A lot of things that the developer missed out on. Um, I definitely know that his uh, ending attack there was shortened down and I don't know. I definitely think that there's some things that can definitely be reworked. But overall, decent game. Uh, good job, Jovi Jovi. Um, hopefully you can improve and better yourself and create even better games. If you guys want me to play a game or try something out, leave it down in the comment section below or go to my Discord, which all of the links are in the description below to my social media and my Discord. Anyways, just go there, put um, in the suggestions area what games you want me to play and I will be sure to play them once I get the chance. So, if you like this video, like and subscribe. To become a melon sauce today, this melon's out.